everyone! Today I'll be teaching you how to make a wireless lace burlet. The pattern I'll be using today is the Cora Lace Burlet. It's a free pattern and you can find the link in the description down below. The pattern comes with four different sizes and a full detailed tutorial with written instructions and illustrations. It was made with a lot of love, so I hope you enjoy it. All you have to do is print your size and cut the pieces. Set it aside. Now, here's the list of materials you'll need for this project. You will need stretch lace. The amount of lace depends on your size and the width of your lace, but you will need around 1 to 2 meters. 1 meter of strap elastic with the width of your choice. Mine is 1 cm wide. 2 rings and 2 strap sliders. It must have the same width as your strap. Pico elastic for the finishing touches. Bra closures and the Cora Lace Burlet free pattern. The closures and sliders are optional, but it looks more professional with it. You will need to cut two side cups, two center cups, and one band that's gonna be cut on fold. I'll show you how to place the pieces properly. Start by folding your lace in half. Match the lace edges perfectly for a more professional result. Place the center of your band pattern piece on the fold and place both cups on the same lace detail so they match when you sew them together. Pay attention to this part. Now cut your pieces. Notice the difference between the center and side cups. The side cup piece is bigger and more curved, while the center cup is smaller and less curved. Now, place each center cup right sides together with one side cup piece and sew them around the edges as shown. You must use a zigzag stitch or a stretch stitch while sewing this part. Place them together and sew it at the edge while pulling the lace slightly. Make sure the edges are aligned. Do it calmly and pay attention if there aren't any holes. You can sew it again on top of it, just to be sure. As you can see, the thread I'm using doesn't match perfectly with the lace, but I decided to keep it this way so you are able to see the stitches better. However, when you're sewing your own, make sure the thread is the same color so you cannot see it after it's done. Repeat the step with both cups. Now we will sew the cups to the band. Make sure the positioning of the cups is correct. The center cup must be in the middle. The center cup is the smaller one. After being assembled, the cup might look a bit larger than the space for it at the band, but the fabric is stretchy, so you just have to match them. Place them right sides together and pin it in place. Overlap the cup slightly in the middle. Sew it while stretching the fabric a little and always make sure the edges are aligned to keep it from creating a hole. Now we will add the elastic. You can use fold over elastic for this part, but I like Pico elastic a bit more. Pico Elastic has a softer side that's supposed to be in contact with your skin. Place the elastic on top of the band with the Pico detail facing down and the plush, more soft side facing out. We will sew there and then fold the elastic inside like a hem and top stitch it in place. The pattern comes with a recommended elastic length, but you can measure it around your own torso as well, under your bust. Fold the cups down and spread the elastic evenly across the band. You must sew the elastic to the seam allowance of the cups. Sew it close to the picot edge with a zigzag stitch.
stretch the elastic and sew it all across, making sure not to leave a hole. Now we will fold the elastic down and top stitch it with a zigzag stitch. You can trim all edges before for a cleaner look. You can pull the elastic as well to help you out. Spread the lace so you don't sew on top of any folds. Now let's fix these straps with the adjusters. Cut the length of elastic according to the pattern instructions. Strap elastic comes with a shining side and a plush side. The plush side will be facing your skin and the shining side will be facing out. Loop the ring and the sliders through the strap as shown in the video. With the plush side facing up, fold the edge of the strap with the adjusters and top stitch it with a straight stitch. Now, still with the plush side facing up, loop the other edge of the elastic through the holes of the sliders. The first hole and then the second hole. Now you can adjust your straps as you please. Use the line on the pattern to place the straps on the bra. Pin them in place. You can stitch them beforehand as well if you prefer. Now we will add the elastic to the bottom. Be sure to cover the strap ends with the elastic for a more professional look. Use a zigzag stitch. I also secure the straps to the elastic at the top. Now we will loop the top of the cup through the ring. And then top stitch it in place. The only thing left to do now is add the bra closures to the ends of your bra. For this side, you must place the plush side facing the inside of the bralette. It will be touching your skin. For this side, the hook must be facing the inside. If you don't have bra closures, you can just place the band right sides together and stitch it with a straight stitch. And you're done! If you like this video, please click on the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe! New videos will be released every Friday.